On every day of the year except December 25th, thousands of tourists from the United States and around the world take a short boat ride from either Lower Manhattan or New Jersey to visit the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. Up next, American History TV visited the National Historic Landmark to learn the story behind the gift from France, which was unveiled on October 28, 1886. For August Bartholdi, it was his dream to become rich and famous. Unfortunately, neither of those things happened for him. But if he were alive today, I think he'd be very proud because although he is not famous, his work of art certainly is. So this was going to take some time. No computers, no cell phones back in 1865. He's finally able to make his first visit to the United States in the early 1870s. He enters the mouth of the New York Harbor and he sees this abandoned island with Fort Wood built for the War of 1812. There wasn't a lot going on on the island that day, but it was a real busy day in the harbor. And he had a vision of the statue atop a pedestal where it can be viewed from miles and miles around. It was a vision that never left him. He has a grasp of the bigger picture. And the major way he accomplished this was his use of symbolism. He is a classical trained artist. We begin with the torch. Once again, his name for the statue was Liberty Enlightening the World. The torch represents enlightenment for the entire world. We come down, she is wearing a crown. She is a goddess of liberty, the goddess of libertas. There are seven rays on this crown. This represents the seven seas and the seven continents. So once again, the world. We come down and her left arm is the tablet with the all important date of July 4th, 1776. The signing of our Declaration of Independence, the start of our democracy. The tablet is in the shape of a keystone. In classical architecture, keystones are at the top of arches. They hold the arches together. So this is August Bartholdi telling us it's going to be democracy that is going to hold the world together. At the bottom of her feet are shackles. Her right foot is striding forward. She's breaking these shackles. She's leaving the old ways behind. She's striding towards the new ways. This represents liberation. She is moving forward. She's not facing New Jersey. She's not facing New York City. She's walking forward, bringing these ideals of freedom, hope, liberty, change, walking forward and welcoming the rest of the world. The idea of liberty does not stand still. It moves forward, it changes, it evolves.